picking up progressive candidates that are not like the mayor we have. Uh, we see we have Amy Farrah Weiss that is here. Why don't we hear a few words from Amy Farrah? One, two, three, anybody but Ed Lee. So we need to keep San Francisco fair, which means we vote yes on F. AI and we replace Ed Lee with a people-powered candidate. When I say vote one, two, three, you say to replace Ed Lee. Vote one, two, three. Replace Ed Lee. Vote one, two, three. Replace Ed Lee. You know, like like has been said here, democracy is the most important tool. It's a hard-won tool that we have in order to shape power in service to people, planet, and equitable economies. Ed Lee is serving corporate interests right now instead of people and the planet, and we have the ability to actually make history globally. Do you know what they did in Barcelona? Have you heard of Ada Calau in Barcelona? She was a housing rights activist that just got arrested years ago for being in a bank and saying we have to stand up for the people, and now she's mayor of Barcelona. We have over 10,700 people that have joined our vote one, two, three to replace that Lee group in the last month and a half. If all of those people just told eight people, we won this election. We can do this. And I just want to say a word for Ross Mercurimi. I live in District 5, and I see people all the time who say Ross took a stand to support the people of San Francisco and the yes, neighborhood. He believes, he believes in rehabilitation that's it, that's it, that's and a punishment that fits the crime. Ed Lee wants to put 400 more armed police officers on the street, which is only going to fill up our jails. It's not going to get us the safety outcomes that we need. Feel your power. We can control the police department if we become mayor of San Francisco and infuse it with the spirit of Grace Lee Boggs and Africa Bambata and United Players and all uh, Zulu tribe, all nations. So let's do this together. Vote one, two, three to replace Ed Lee. I, I was just yesterday, I was just in Detroit with, with, at the memorial for Grace Lee Boggs. She lived 100 years and 100 days after that. And she was the most incredible organizer. The way she brought people together, the way she brought ordinary citizens together, and talked about the idea of imagination and growing our souls, growing our souls and growing and taking back this which we belong to us. We have to be, we have to reimagine our relationship to this city. We have to take this city back and we have to force those who are in power and who want to change this city to a luxury city, we have to force them to say, we're not leaving here, we're not going in here, we're going to be here, we've been here in the past. And we can only do that by standing up right this particular moment. Vote yes for I. Vote yes for F. Vote yes, one, two, three, get rid of Ed Lee. Get rid of and vote, vote yes for, for Ross as well. Vote yes, Mayor All right, right on Danny, right on Danny. So folks, listen, we're two days before an election, and it's an historic election, and they're saying it's low voter turnout. Well, let's prove them wrong, that our people are going to vote and come out and show the rest of San Francisco on what it means to take back our city.